to do is I would like to show you how to make a simple pinch pot so we can utilize our pinch pots with some glazing techniques in our Ceramics 1 classes. We're going to be using earthenware clay and we're going to be doing a scraffito technique and we're going to also do a mialic technique. We're going to be making two cups and we're going to be glazing uh, them differently. Now, what we're going to start off with is some earthenware clay. I'm just going to wedge up some scrap into my hunk here. Remember that when you wedge, the point of wedging is you want to mix the clay together. You want to have a nice, even consistency of clay. Moist and uh, dry should be mixed in thoroughly together, and it should still be rather plastic. Mine is a little on the uh, stiffer side. Yours will be a little bit more plastic than this when you use it. I'm now going to make it into roughly a ball because since I'm going to do the pinch pot method, most of the time the pinch pot method starts with a ball. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with about an orange size hunk. Now this is probably about ooh, maybe a pound and a quarter or a little bit more. <clears throat> What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ball. If you happen to have a defect, like you have a big wrinkle, you can make that the spot where you put your thumb in. I'm going to stick my thumb into the clay, and the ball should be just big enough where you can still reach all the way around with your uh, fingertips, and you should be pressing opposite of your thumb. So what I'm doing is I'm pressing with my thumb on the inside, and I always press the bottom part first. So as I do this, I'm thinning the bottom on the inside. The bottom should be roughly, I usually tell people about 3 eighths of an inch to a half an inch thick because we can uh, make it a little bit thinner later. I'm just going to switch off because my hand was getting tired. But you always want to keep your thumb on the inside and your fingertips on the outside. Now, working from the bottom of the wall up, you continue to pinch going up the wall until the wall feels even. You have to have a sensitivity with your fingertips to make sure that it all feels like it is an even thickness. When you get up to the upper edge, you don't want to pinch the upper edge and make it thin. You want to keep it the consistency of the rest of the wall. So again, I'm using about 3 eighths of an inch to half an inch thick. Now, on the upper edge, sometimes you might get some surface cracking. I'm going to just take my thumb and I'm going to blend over some of that surface cracking. Now, up to this point, I have left it rounded. Okay, I have not flattened it out as you see here. I haven't flattened it yet. The biggest mistake that students make is they do this on the table. And if they do it on the table when they pinch, usually the form gets really wide and short. We're going for cup forms, so we want it a little bit taller than it is wide. So we Keep it as narrow as we need it to be by squeezing in. So if yours gets a little wide, you just kind of squeeze in gently. If you start to see any creasing, you immediately take your finger and you blend side to side across any creases. If you see creases on the outside, you also blend side to side and blend across the creases. Now, once you get it into the approximate shape that you need it to be, it's about as the diameter that you need it to be and it's about the height, what I'm going to do now is for the very first time, I'm going to set it on the table and tap it to get kind of a flat bottom. And for this, I can kind of take my hands and kind of shape the bottom just the way I want it. Now, I am going to smooth out any bumps that I have on the inside, and I'm also going to smooth out any bumps that I may have on the outside. Okay. And that is the start of a pinch cup. Now, once you have the pinch form made, then on the very first day, we should be able to smooth this outside a little bit more so it's not quite so lumpy. If you don't have time to do it on the first day, you can do it on the second day. You'll just save yourself a little bit of time if you do it now. To smooth, I'm going to use a yellow rib. Now, I chose to use one of the very small ribs because the small ones will fit inside my pot. When I rib, I will hold my hand 
on the inside of the cup and I rib pushing up against my fingers. Now you can see it is definitely getting rid of some of the lumps and the bumps and you can also see that I'm cleaning off the clay as I rib because if I don't I'm just going to spread that clay back around on the sides. Okay, you can see this is smoothing quite nicely and again if you don't have time to do this on the first day you can always sure form and take it down on the second day. This just makes the cleanup on the second day faster. Okay, I'm also going to rib a little bit on the interior and for that I'm going to now position my hand on the outside so I'm ribbing pressing up against my hand that's on the outside. Whenever you rib you want to make sure that you have support so you're not changing the shape very much. You're just scraping or smoothing away the dents. Okay. Now one of the last things I can do is I can flip this over and I can smooth it just a little bit more down there at the bottom corner. One of the things that I'm looking for is a round bottom that is evenly centered. So as I look at this, I'm going to tilt this so you can see, as I look at this, I look for a round bottom that seems to be evenly centered within the outside. If it looks like it's off center, then I know that I need to do a little pushing with the rib to recenter it. Okay. Now, for my students, you will be making two of these cups in Ceramics 1. We're going to be making two of these cups. We're going to be allowing them to dry overnight. We're going to be writing our initials on the bottom. You're going to be putting your bell. Okay, so you put your initials, your bell. Then you're going to take it and you're going to position it upside down on a wear board. You can put several from your table on a wear board and you're going to leave it uncovered in the class cabinet. Tomorrow when you come in it should be leather hard at which time you will be cleaning it and uh, we'll finish it up and, and have a really nice little form. And that's day one on the Pinch Pots. <clears throat> Thank you.